Referees don't always have it easy. Especially before the time of the VAR, they had to make the right decisions quickly, without help. However, not everyone always managed to do this correctly. These are our top 3 worst refereeing performance that are not yet proven rigged. It's a fucking disgrace. Didier Drogba shouted angrily into the camera after the final whistle. Many people probably already know which match it is and expected it to be in this list. The second leg of the Champions League semi-final between FC Chelsea and FC Barcelona. On May 11, 2009, Chelsea and prime Barcelona, coached by Pep Guardiola, met at Stamford Bridge. The first leg at Cup Nou ended nil-nil, so Chelsea needed to win to progress. The match was refereed by Tom Henning of Rabo, a man every Chelsea fan will probably hate for eternity. But first things first, because the game started perfectly for Chelsea. In the ninth minute, Essien scored the 1-0 for Chelsea with the absolute dream goal. But then, in the 24th minute, the first controversial scene. Dani Alves lost a running duel with Maloda and fouled him on the edge of the penalty area. However, referee Obrevo only awarded a free kick, although the foul was in the penalty area. Chelsea progressed to dominate the game. After Drogba's free kick and a good chance from Terry with a header, the next heated action took place. Drogba went one-on-one -on -one with Touré in the penalty area after a good pass from Lampert and fell to the ground. Despite clear contact, referee of Rebo did not award a penalty. After the break, Drogba missed another good opportunity 7 meters from goal and Abidal was red carded a few minutes later for a tactical foul. Then, in minute 82, the third penalty scene. Piquet clearly got the ball on his hand in the penalty area and thus prevent the scoring chance. But again, referee of Rebo didn't give a penalty. In the 93rd minute, the shocking moment came for Chelsea, as Barca scored the 1-1 with their first real shot on target. A brilliant goal from Andres Iniesta. But if you thought that was enough drama, you probably don't know the famous Mikhail Balak scene. In the 96th minute, Balak took the block corner and hit the ball volley. Eto clearly blocked it with his arm. Balak then ran after Ovrebo, who initiated to play on. Again, no penalty. And so Barcelona went through the final, thanks to a way go rule, while Chelsea were eliminated. Ovrebo oversaw four penalties in this game and Abidal should have been red carded for another scene earlier in the game. On second place we have a game where everyone thought that Real Madrid had bought the referee. This was a Champions League quarterfinal second leg between Real Madrid and FC Bayern Munich. The two teams met at the Santiago Bernabeu after Real's 1-2 win in the first leg. The match was refereed by Kashai Victor. The first half was goalless, despite good opportunities on both sides. But that changed in the second half. Three minutes after kickoff, Lewandowski converted the penalty to make it 1-0 after Robin was fouled by Casemiro, who was not shown a yellow card. Then came the first wrong decision. Boateng chipped the ball over Real's back four and Lewandowski was through on his own. But he was whistled back for offside. Even though it wasn't. Ronaldo scored the 1-1 for Real a little later with a header while three minutes later Ramos scored an own goal for the 1-2 after a misunderstanding with Navas. 
This was followed by the next wrong decisions. Casemiro fouled Robin roughly and was again not shown a yellow card, while Vidal was shown a second yellow card after a clean tackle and was sent off. But that wasn't enough bad luck for Bayern. Ronaldo scored two offside goals in extra time. The first after a cross from Ramos and the second after a solo run by Marcelo who laid the ball to the offside standing Ronaldo in front of the goalkeeper. Asensio then added another goal to make it 4-2. Victor Kashai made three offside mistakes in this game, all of which turned in Real's favor. In addition, Casemiro should have been sent off twice, while Vidal was wrongly sent off. To all Bayern fans, we still feel sorry for you. At this point, like the video and subscribe the channel if you enjoyed it so far. Feel free to comment below which game have we forgotten to mention. Thank you for your support. The last match in our list is probably the most scandalous one in the history of football. On June 18, 2002, South Korea and Prime Italy met in the round of 16 of the World Cup. Buffon, Maldini, Totti and many more played on the pitch. Therefore, Italy had to be considered a clear favorite. The match was refereed by Brian Moreno, a man who later became a convicted heroin smuggler and to this day should probably not set a foot in Italy. The game initially went quite well for Italy. After Buffon saved the penalty and the elbow hit by Vieri, which should have resulted in a red card, Vieri headed Italy 1-0 up after a corner. After that, it became a nightmare for Italy. Korea fouled as much as they wanted in this game. They fouled ruthlessly and without mercy. Coco was bleeding, Zambrotta was hit at his knees with studs, and Maldini, who was lying on the ground, was kicked in the head. Korea should have seen at least three red cards that evening. In the 88 minute, Korea equalized through Seoul to make it 1-1. In extra time, things got even worse for Italy. Totti received a second yellow card for a dive. It wasn't a dive. And Tomasi was whistled back for an offside in front of the goal, which was not an offside. South Korea then scored a 2-1 in the 117th minute and Italy were knocked out of the tournament. Until this day, a disgrace.